Finally tonight, musical instruments that were nearly lost during World War II have not only been recovered, but they are now being played as a symbol of hope and survival. Here's CBS's Manuel Bohorkas. At the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, that's pretty cool. An unexpected sight: four violins, given new life by Absalom Weinstein and his father Amnon. We are repairing and restoring all these instruments because we think it's important for the people to hear the sound of what those people heard during the war. For Weinstein, it's personal. His grandparents lost nearly their entire family in the Holocaust. Still, his grandfather, a violin repairman in Israel, started to save what no one wanted, German-made instruments. Why did he take them in? Because my grandfather didn't want to see the instruments being broken, destroyed, or lost. Through their program, Violins of Hope, the instruments are played all over the world, reclaiming them from their dark past. Some musicians at concentration camps were forced to play as their fellow Jews were sent to their deaths. On this night, a restored violin sang once again with the Louisiana Philharmonic Orchestra. Violinist Philippe Quint lost family during the Holocaust. What a yeah. great way for future generations in terms of education, in terms of never repeating something like this again. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, New Orleans.